a mutual of mine made a video about the conflation that kosher food is healthier food and a kosher root is not an inherent indication that food is healthier. But I would like to share an important contribution that kosher meat has made to medical science, specifically with the donut of truth or the computed tomography scanner. As a med student with an undergrad minor in Jewish studies, I do always keep my eye out for mentions of the Jewish world in my curriculum. Thus far, it has just been genetically linked conditions and ethics violations that happened during the Holocaust. So imagine my surprise when Kashrut came up in radiology. Source, Radiopedia. So in the 1960s, there was this man named Godfrey Hounsfield. Hounsfield was working for the British company Electric and Musical Industries on radar and computers. The company was changing strategies and they asked Hounsfield, hey, can you think of something that involves computer pattern recognition? And Hounsfield was like, what if we take x-ray technology and we can get 2D images and we can take multiple 2D images, frontal, lateral view, oh look, we can see a pneumonia. What if we go beyond that? What if we take lots of x-rays, moving around an object, reconcile all those pictures with computing, and then we'll be able to see inside the human body, understanding how our structures lie in relation to one another, rather than just a flat sheet. A lot of people were skeptical at the time. His company, other medical professionals, what's the point of this complex, convoluted, expensive new technology? What added benefit does it have for the patient? But he got some radiologists on board who believed in the vision. For example, the Lithuanian Jew slash radiologist, Louis Creel. It was time to prototype, and then test those prototypes. No tests on the living quite yet. The team started by trying to scan preserved brains from a histopathology museum. You can imagine how preserved brain tissue is not representative of the living beings that we want to be scanning eventually for medical practice. Okay, next up, what if we try scanning slaughtered cow brains? Unfortunately, the method of slaughter would result in widespread hemorrhage of the brain. Brain bleeding. Now you do want to know what it looks like when your brain is bleeding on a CT scan. However, not optimal condition for CT prototyping. Next step, they got this idea. What if we used kosher slaughtered cows? One aspect of kosher slaughter is that the shoichet, the butcher, makes a quick, clean cut to the neck. I won't go further into detail. But the general result of the slaughter is that the cow's brains would not have diffuse cerebral hemorrhage, diffuse, widespread bleeding of the brain. And through this kosher slaughter, we were able to get the first good scans of the brain through CT, proving the potential of this new technology. So let me show you a CT brain scan. If you'd like to see scans like this, you can head over to Radiopedia yourself. This is a normal brain scan. There's no pathology here, um, but there's lots of cases you can see on Radiopedia. I think the site was created by Aussies, so Radiopedia.